Guys, as is the nature of van life, yesterday was not our last day in Yosemite. <laughs> we're still here. Basically, we were trying to get to Redwoods, and then upon closer inspection for Redwoods last night, in preparation to move today, um, realized that none of the camping there is actually very good, so... Yeah, all the camping that I found that's, like, all the camping in the park is booked up. All the camping I found that's outside the park is, like, actually two hours outside the park because the roads are, like super i guess moving out of the way from mountains but. <laughs> yeah so um we already had to adjust the plan and this morning we were looking at weather and whatnot and that adjusted the plan even further so um basically we decided to um just stay here a few more days because it's nice here nice weather here the other places that we're trying to go um kind of in a holding pattern on those so <laughs> So I guess we just have to hang out in Yosemite. Have for to a hang longer. out in Yosemite. Honestly, though, today we really need to do laundry and um, seriously need to wash my hair. So I think we actually are going to have to drive two hours to the closest YMCA. I mean, I hate that because like there's so many like showers inside of the park there's that, showers in the park but it would be a little bit more of a be a sketchy sneaking into them yeah <laughs> it, we would have to be sneaking in um we have we have a lot to get done yeah anyway so it makes sense if we didn't have to get laundry and groceries and like i still needed to fix the propane problem i need to get to some real service so i can upload the video for this week so like if all of those were factors i would say let's go ahead and send it inside the park but we have to go into town we have anyway to go into town anyway so might as well get it natural shower yeah <laughs> guys it has been a day <laughs> we drove two hours away from camp to come to the ymca to shower and the ymca didn't have showers so uh we basically have been bebopping all over stockton california today it, some ymcas are just daycares I'm not being some people might know that already but no so at the y they told us to check out this gym and that they had like day passes there so we called that gym um their day passes were like 15 dollars each um and then we passed a planet fitness and we called them and their day passes are free so we just registered for some planet fitness day passes that's the life hack of the of the year here um this is as homeless as i've felt <laughs> yeah the uh people at the y I think they might have thought I was homeless when I was asking my questions. We know we're not homeless. True. We hung out at a beautiful university earlier. Yeah. University of the Pacific. Very pretty campus. It was a gorgeous campus. It made me feel inspired to be on a college campus again. I said, damn, maybe I can change the world. I was thinking about how much I, um, when I was in college, I would go to the library to get work done. And I would get myself a little coffee and then I would sit there for three hours and watch videos on YouTube. And um, I would always, I'd be like beating myself up the whole time. Like, man, I'd like, I should have gotten more done while I was at the library. And today to be there with like all the students sitting around me and I was just like letting my video upload while I was just like scrolling on my phone. I was like, man, I've earned this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like I, I don't have anything else that I should be doing right now. And that felt pretty good. It's like mid-April, so like it's oh, final season. Yeah. So we like I was watching disc golf highlights, and people are like, "My my finals!" Like <laughs> stressing out about final yeah. projects. I was like, "Man, it feels pretty good in here. I'm yeah. very relaxed." We're finally gonna go shower. It's like 6 p.m. We still have a two-hour drive back to camp, and our sheets are all in the back. So we're gonna get back to camp in the dark and have to try to make our our beds. Planet Fitness. Hands down, Wynn's worst shower experience I've had so Girl. far. Yeah. How was your shower? Pretty good. My shower not, was... Not that bad, anyway. My shower was awful. The water was cold the whole time. Damn, I think I got my shirt wet, but besides that... Mine was, <laughs> I know what you mean. Mine was not as hot as it usually does. At the mine water. was cold. Mine was warm, at least, but damn. <laughs> at least it was free. True. 
Beggars can't be choosers. Good morning. Good morning. It's Thursday. It's who, Thursday. Who knows? <laughs> it's Thursday. And we don't have much on the docket today, so. Just relaxing. We're making some breakfast. I just wanted to show you the view while I was cooking up some breakfast. Mm. How fun is that? For everyone who's wondering, the park is five minutes that way. Oh yeah, we're very we're close. We're parked right outside the park. And if this doesn't bring the bears around, I don't know what will. Hi guys, I've had the best day just being a lazy bug in a rug. Connor has been Mr. Productivity, but we are currently prepping to do a pretty big hike tomorrow. Oh, jeez. I pulled out the the official paper to read you the the stats for this hike that we're gonna go for tomorrow. The Yosemite Falls Trail. This trail leads to the top of North America's tallest waterfall. The upper half of the trail is steep and rocky, but the arduous climb is worth it for the amazing views. So this trail is 7.2 miles and you have 2,700 feet of elevation gain. That's a lot. That's a ton. In the first mile alone, you do a thousand feet. So that's crazy. Um, that my or that hike that we did in Tucson, which was the hardest hike I'd ever done, basically, um, that was eight miles and like fourteen or sixteen hundred feet in elevation gain. So this is going to be significantly harder. Yeah. So we're going to go buy some more supplies um, and kind of prep our food for the hike so that we can get up early in the morning and hit the trail before it gets too hot for the day, so. The trail's gonna be hard though. It's, it's gonna be hard. They say that this is like the free solo, free soloing El Cap of all the trails at Yosemite. Do they? No. Oh, Connor's <laughs> making that up. <laughs> all right guys, here's the snack tour for tomorrow. Uh, we got a couple more tuna things um, for moi. <laughs> These look awful. Um, these are peanut butter and jelly roll-ups. And then we've got lots of granola bars, my fave fruit snacks. We've got some cuties for a little fresh produce. And then these protein bars. You excited? Very. Hopefully I'll make it to the top. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> it's a little bit before seven. We just woke up. Um, it's cold today. It's cold, cold, cold. So hopefully I can wear shorts on the hike and not overheat. And not overheat. I mean, it's 30 now, but it's going to be 50 in like two hours. Yeah. You would overheat with shorts on? No, hopefully I can. Hopefully it's not too sh cold for me to wear. What? <laughs> we need to make coffee. <laughs> All right, it's eight. Oh, <laughs> it is eight oh four. Heading to the trail. We just had breakfast. We're sunblocked up. We're ready to go. Do you want to show them my dashboard right now? Or my oh yeah. Shield? This is what we're leaving in right now. <laughs> <laughs> getting another speeding ticket. This one is from a park ranger. Who knew? I think he stopped us so that we could take a moment to appreciate the view. I take back all the shit I just said. He just gave us a warning. But I was getting a little old. Connor said, I don't like park rangers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> goal is to finish at the top of that waterfall up I here. Can, uh, park over here i'm feeling actual nerves I'll be okay did you show them what we're climbing yeah i'm scared <laughs> it's a beautiful day here it is beautiful and we wanted to start the trail by like 
9 o'clock. I think it's like 9.10, so... Not bad. Maybe if someone hadn't gotten pulled over. <laughs> All those white bits are chunks of ice moving. It's kind of sketchy. Tallest waterfall in North America and the fifth tallest waterfall in the world. You look beautiful right now. Thank you. Are my eyes pretty? No. Oh, okay. Okay. We started hiking around like 9.40. It's now like 10.20. Honestly, doing much better <laughs> than I thought I would. It's not that bad. There's a little progress point. A really cool waterfall. The water feels so nice and cold. How are you feeling? Pretty good. I feel like we've covered some ground. I think we've gone a mile. I think Columbia Rock is the mile point. Is that where we are now? I don't think so. Oh, shit. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> you a rock <laughs> you are... Damn, this is like the nutcracker of hikes out here. Do I look graceful? Yeah. <laughs> We're just hiking and some freaking rocks just started falling. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here's the reenaction. We hear the rocks fall. They're probably like, Connor says like fist size. I think they might have been a little bit bigger. No. They would have done some damage because they were coming. Definitely would have done some damage. They were falling off the whole cliff of the... <laughs> this is a reenactment of me. I was like, run! <laughs> oh man, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty frightening. <laughs> Okay, so we're probably like two and a half miles in. I don't actually know. Um, but we just passed a park ranger and he said it would be risking our lives to continue. <laughs> so we're trying to decide if it's worth it or not. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, not to mention Connor literally just fell down like an ice slope. So yeah. he cut his hand. I got a boo-boo. Um, yeah. It was kind of fun. And a lot of people are coming back and they said you can maybe go like 50 more meters that way, but we really don't have the equipment for that. So I think this might be as far this as we get. But pretty, I mean, at least we got up to the falls as yeah. opposed to like Bernal where we couldn't really see it. Yeah, true. At least we got to this point. Yeah. Damn, you see that? Oh my gosh, you see all the snow that just fell? Uh -huh. You don't see all that? Oh wow, yeah. Crazy. It's also really cool. Because at the bottom, I think it's just so cold, it all turns to snow here. Super cool. <laughs> FG, there's a bear. I can't believe how close those people are getting. It's like right on the up, other side of that hill. Oh, we're getting into nervous territory. A girl um, that was up here just airdropped me a video that she took of it. So I'll insert that here if we don't see it too. So we were heading in this direction to check out El Cap, which is this right in front of us. This is 3,000 feet tall and a man climbed it with no ropes by himself in like 2017. That's from the documentary we watched. But now the bear is heading this direction. So I don't know how much further we want to walk in this direction as well. Man. Dreams really do come true. I, I manifested that bear. I didn't get to see it. Connor didn't get to see it, unfortunately. I'm glad that girl sent us that video so you could at least see what it would have looked like if you had seen it. Until she sent you that video, I was like... He didn't believe it. Is there actually a bear here? <laughs> well, I saw it 
And I was like, I mean, I've been eyes peeled looking for a bear all week. And I was like, that looks like a bear. And then I was like, that, I was like, no way that's not a bear. And then there was like crowds also looking. And I was like, no way that's not a bear. And then we drove a little bit around and then I could see the whole thing. And I was like, stop the car. <laughs> I was basically telling Connor to park in the middle of the street. She was like, park it right there. <laughs> so Connor didn't get to see it, unfortunately, but we'll be out here for a while longer. So there's a good chance we'll see one again. Yeah. Hopefully not at our camp. I wish we would have seen it again once we got out of the car, but yeah. At least I at least I got to see one in the wild and it was in the safest way possible, which is what I've been saying this whole time. From inside the car. From inside the car. Man, I am psyched. This is probably two of the most dangerous instances of my life. Being this close to a bear and almost having rocks fall on my head. I'm yeah, exhilarated. I'm living on the edge right now, yeah. <laughs> oh hello. Good morning. What day is it? Friday, I think. It's the day after we saw the bear. That's all I know. It's Good Friday. That's how I measure time. <laughs> it's not Good Friday. We are still technically stuck at Yosemite. So we've kind of done most of the trails, not much else to do um, that are open right now. So we're making breakfast and we're going to try to make some pancakes. The plan is to not have to clean a bunch of dishes. So I'm going to attempt to mix the batter in here and I'm eyeballing all of it. It says just add water, so. I love this massive dead tree right in front of us. Not these two, but this one. Okay. The only thing I'm nervous is like trying to get into the nooks and crannies, you know what I mean? Yeah. And dumping, because I feel like that's not gonna go well. Um, let's start there. What? One more? That's not nearly enough, baby. It's quite soupy at the bottom. Baby, that's a cup for a cup. You I need know. to put as much water as you put stuff in there. Listen, listen, who's the expert here? Neither of us. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is mixing very easily. See, that's too much water now. Oh no. That's way too much water. <laughs> We'll just keep going back and forth until yeah, we're until we've we cooked the entire thing. <laughs> These are protein pancakes too, so. Yeah, we're gonna attempt. What's the hike we're trying today? Um, so you can drive down. We're gonna drive down to like the south entrance, close to where we did the sequoias. I think there's footage of that. There's a place called Wawana. 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 Um, and there's a little valley trail down there that's like three and a half miles and seems like it'd be a pretty cool place. Um, okay, cut the camera. All right, so cut a little hole right here. Hopefully this will work. Where's the airplane at? Oh. <laughs> you know, that'll that'll do. That's not half bad. I'll keep going. Pancake dance. Pancake dance. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious pancake. It's kind of heavy. Oh. This is my, uh, my walking stick. I think I held it this way. Dirt all over me. Okay. What's up guys? It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yesterday, we did not do much. We were planning to hike, which I actually think I said in a video at one point. And then a couple hours later, we were still at camp and we were like, this ain't half bad. So <laughs> since we saw the bear, I'm like hyper scared of bears now <laughs> or like I don't know it just made me feel kind of like we are in their territory like felt like they didn't actually exist before that in this area but even now on this little trail I'm like 
this is the uh, Wawona Meadow. So this is like, there's like a historic hotel here and basically like the historic entrance to the park. Mm -hmm. So like nothing crazy over here, but just kind of a nice walk in the woods vibe. Yeah. And we're right next to where the Sequoias are. And that's like another big part of the park, which we already have done. And I'm sure you guys have seen mm -hmm. how crazy that was. But I want to come over here and just walk in the meadow. It's kind of not what I expected, but kind of nice to just walk in the woods. Connor watched a video about like how hiking trails are made basically. And he said that this is an example of one that was <laughs> poorly done because with a lot of rainfall or snow melt, it's just basically become a creek. Yeah. That's not what you want. That is not what you want. And the opposite would be, um, I don't know if we have video of it, but the hike up to Yosemite Falls was the opposite because the water ran perpendicular to the trail. Mm. So it doesn't like destroy the trail. Which, like, this is all asphalt, but you can tell on some of the parts of the trail that it's just, like, completely washed out because it basically became a creek. Exhibit A, or maybe C. Here's where the trail comes. Here's the asphalt that's been swept away. That's the rest of the trail. <laughs> it does continue back that way, but we're certainly not getting over there without making a real mess. Oh, uh, it was good. Oh, yeah. We're kind of biding our time, waiting for some weather to pass until we can move to our next location, um, which I think we are planning to do in a few days. So what what are your, your final thoughts on Yosemite for the people? Yosemite is incredible. Highly recommend everyone see this place once in their life. The, like, it's kind of similar to Zion in the like valley area which is very like a lot of cars a lot of like lodging there but still super incredible views and definitely hikes where like you're pretty separated from other people so you can still get that kind of adventure vibe going but then the other parts of the park supplement how busy that area can get like hetch hetchies incredible and very like secluded at least when we went we've done all the trails that are like day hike trails mm -hmm. but also there's a whole section of the park that's not open right now yeah we've had like two like camper days but we've spent a week happily here i could spend oh, yeah. another couple of days here i feel like i can still be for sure doing stuff so i don't know if yosemite knocks zion out of first place for my most likely to recommend because it kind of depends on like what you're in for because zion in my opinion you do not need a ton of time there and it's very accessible. If you're staying in the actual valley, that's one thing, but like if you're staying anywhere outside of the park and driving in, you're at least an hour from the valley. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So that's like something to note. Oh, well, and that's what I was gonna say. That's something we were talking about the other day too. It might be the time of year, but it's very difficult to navigate this park. <laughs> like I have generally like a pretty good sense of direction and I, most of the time, have no idea where we are. <laughs> like, the maps don't make a ton of sense. And then, like, there's only so much parking available. And usually, the lots are pretty full. And then, like, once you park, you then have, like, a half a mile walk to the start of the trail. But that's the closest you can get. So, like, you really got to work for it <laughs> out yeah. here. Which is fine. I think it's just something to be aware of. Like, if you're like me. <laughs> <laughs> And you only have so much to give. I think it took me a second to get the map down. I think I finally, I did get it down. But it is like a little confusing and the shuttle there. So it's Zion, it's like, you're on the shuttle, no mm -hmm. matter what. Here it's like, they recommend you do the shuttle, but from what we've seen, it's kind of unreliable. Mm -hmm. And like, at Zion, you're guaranteed to hop on a shuttle like almost every 10 minutes, I would say. Uh -huh. But here it's like, it could be a half hour before it comes to your stop. And that is a little longer than you might want to be waiting. Yeah. If you're like, just got done with the trail, sitting down for half an hour. I think it's doable, but it is a little different. Yeah. In that regard. Yeah. And again, that might be seasonal because. True. Because in the summer, they add another shuttle on. Yeah. Like that does the major stops. So like we might just be seeing the off season. Overall, what a great week. Oh yeah. It's been incredible. The weather's been like fantastic. Mm-hmm. 
the weather has been perfect. I think it's been a lot more rewarding because like we've actually been able to get out and like do the stuff that we thought we would be doing every day. We've been hiking like four miles a day, almost every day at least. I mean, I think we did like six miles those first two days. I don't know if we've mentioned it this or not, but basically before we got here, there was like record snowfall. Oh, and so I'm sure we've mentioned that. I'm sure we've mentioned it, but a benefit of that is like all of the waterfalls are at like peak volume right now. Mm -hmm. So that's been a plus of the time of year that we've come. Like, I don't, I don't know what the, they would look like otherwise, but like that alone makes this park pretty epic. Like, well, that, like the waterfalls and just everything in bloom, like, yeah, everything is very lush. Yeah. It's awesome. So overall, highly recommend uh yosemite's pretty incredible oh yeah Ugh. i hate to see her go but i love to watch her leave mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what's that sally i'm sure that looks like more of a lizard but pretty big guy yeah i'm scared of it let's leave okay i'm back down on you buddy <laughs> That other trail was a bus. So we came here. Oh, where is it? To Bridal Veil Falls. It's cold. You, yeah. Okay. This is where I've been playing disc golf. Welcome to Connor's disc golf. Disc golf. Disc golf. <laughs> disc girl. I've been getting a little obsessed. So far, we've played out here. We've been out here two, two, two times, and I've played like five rounds, maybe six rounds, and I throw two discs every time. So I play like two games at once, basically. I don't even know how many times that is. That's like twelve games. Yeah. Granted, it's only nine. Uh, yeah, there's nine only nine holes. Hole, we do, it's already three o'clock and we do have some stuff to take care of when we get back to camp so that we can head out in the morning. Yep. In an efficient manner. Yeah. Yet another walk cut short. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I am excited, like even though we've been having an awesome time at Yosemite, I am excited to um, keep moving and like see some more stuff because we have been sticking around so long because of the weather of where we're going next. Um, so you can definitely tell we have kind of run out of stuff to do here, um, which is okay because it's been nice to have a couple of relaxing days. But yeah. I am excited to to move to the next spot, see some new stuff, yeah, take a shower. <laughs> yes, we have some very exciting stuff coming up in the next week or so. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited about um, just kind of our general plans for the next few weeks. That might be it for this one. Let's end this video like we've ended a lot of our trails. <laughs> Dead end. Blocked by nature. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thanks All for right. watching, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We've had such an incredible time at Yosemite. Mm -hmm. Like, so many things that are usually pretty chaotic with the places we've been have gone very well here. Like, mm -hmm. the weather's been amazing. Our camping spot has been incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, there's been enough to do. The park has been incredible even when it's been busy we've been able to kind of find our own way through and stuff so mm -hmm. really couldn't ask for a better week huh? things that felt a lot harder at a lot of our other places have felt a lot easier here for some reason yeah it's been awesome it's been very, incredible very excited to move on to our next spot tomorrow um the next week's gonna be incredible mm -hmm. i don't want to <laughs> hype it up too much but it might be the best week of my life we are starting connor's birthday celebration so Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Connor just took his shoes off. And look at <laughs> Look how dirty his legs are. Ah! <laughs> I just have bad tan lines. Well, if we weren't already moving on from Yosemite, I think this might have been a sign that it's time. Oh.
this is what we just woke up to. Oh no, our chairs. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put the chairs away. There's so much stuff outside. We're supposed to put the camper down and it's covered in snow. <laughs> my Coke is gonna be cold. <laughs> Truly a testament to like, it actually does stay pretty warm in here. Cause like, I had no idea it snowed last night. All right, we're hitched up. We're on our way out. That was a moment. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> you look so funny in this car. <laughs> we also lost like the one warm hat that we brought with us. Yeah, it's around here somewhere, but maybe or not. Or not. <laughs> Could be anywhere in the country, actually. <laughs> Probably gonna end this one here. Sad to be leaving Yosemite. Sad to be leaving California. Um, but excited for what's to come next. I'm very excited. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Tune in next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.